Uh, look at uh, Chicago. Look at how sweaty Chicago beef is. His arms are so sweaty. I'm shooting over both of y'all. I do not care. His arm, he's so sweaty that it looks like he forgot to put defense on. I mean, put uh, deodorant on, bro. He said the only D I like is defense out here, man. So, like I said, bro, like, look at that. Gru, get, please stop there. Like I said, it's almost comical uh, what you got to do against these guys. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Daddy! Okay, man, check this out, man. Now, listen, I understand that a lot of people are having issues with that jump shot, and I'm not going to lie to y'all. I myself was having terrible issues with my jump shot over the weekend, man. I was fine in the wreck, but for some reason, when I got in that park, man, I was I, I just couldn't hit a shot, and it just felt like my shot was off. It felt like it was just terrible. It felt like, like, like... Y'all understand what I'm saying? Like when you play this game and you feel like you're going to miss the shot while you're taking the shot because you just feel like there's no, I can't time this green window because I'm timing the shot right. But for some reason, I understand that 2K is not gonna let me hit it. And you can tell that just by the feel. If you've been playing this game long enough, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're going up and the shot feels, for, for lack of a better word, the shots feel slippery or something like that. And, and it's just like, I, I just can't get it right, man. Listen, I'm gonna show y'all how to fix y'all's jump shot and how I did mine in three easy steps. Now, it could take longer for some than others, but I promise you, you're gonna be able to fix your jump shot and it's gonna be, you're gonna be 15% more chicken, maybe even 50% more chicken, just like I was, man, if you want to do that. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all already know we're trying to go with this thing to the moon at us. And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family, love each and every last one of y'all, man. Let's just get right into the video, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button. We gotta get to 200 likes before we get to 1500 views, man. That's what gets us into the algorithm, man. But without further ado, let's, hey, first thing you're gonna have to do man if the jump shot is feeling not chicken bro go make yourself another jump shot or remake the same one find the jump shot something that works for you i ain't gonna lie to y'all bro i was so superstitious i remade my jump shot i deleted every jump shot i had because listen i'm gonna be real with y'all i don't think the 2k I just think that a lot of stuff is getting crossed over with crossplay being here this year and everything crossing up. I think that things, I just think that things aren't working like they're supposed to. It was a, it was a time where I felt like uh, gold badges weren't working, and then all of a sudden they started working. Once I mentioned it, there was a time when I felt like uh, that I felt like um, the jump shots was getting crossed up. I deleted all my jump shots. My jump shot got better, and then there was one more thing that I feel like is happening right now. I don't think the game knows where you're shooting from. I, I seriously don't, and I'm gonna tell y'all why because. Um, well, we'll, we'll talk about that in one second, man, but why I think that. But listen, if you need a jump shot, here's one right here. This is one with the biggest green window, and it's got one of the biggest green windows, and it has, um, it's, it's like some one of the easiest cues to follow, man. And it's, and it's got some of the best stats. The only problem is it's really going to be for catch and shoot people because it's, it's uh, time and stability or what have you. But this is, here you go right here. You got Torian Prince is your base. Uh, Louis Hachimura, that's what he got on Twitter. Louis, don't at me. Louis Hachimura and Scottie Pippen. 39% toward Louis Hachimura, 61% toward Scottie Pippen. And I put it down one because your time and stability goes down uh, as you do it. So, you, I mean, if you want to go down to there and get it up to a B or something like that, by all means, do what you got to do. But I like it right here because this is where it's really easy for, easy for me to read. You got that, man. Delete every other jump shot you got. If you got, I, bro, I swear 2K can't tell the difference between one jump shot to another. I swear, like, it was it was a few times, bro, I'm out here and my jump shot felt just slippery. And I'm like, yo, this don't even look the same. I just feel like they, be, be, be. bro, I think everything crossing over sometimes, man. I think that the components from some jump shots be mixing and your jump shot don't even look the same. Your cue ain't the same, none of that stuff. So I just say delete every jump shot and put only the one that you have in there and that 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 felt like it made a difference for me but number two number two thing you need to do and this is a plug to my homeboy t misley you need to go watch these two these last two videos from t mizzle this right here is one where he's showing you you know like he's talking about his cue or what have you you need to choose a cue something that absolutely is something that that you like He's talking about release. He used release timing, and that release timing is working for him. But uh, but hey, I like set point. Some people like this jump shot. Yeah, this jump shot right here, bro. You got to use it on. I, I use it on set point. You can, if you like it to be a little bit slower, you can go with release or you can go with uh push. But sometimes 
uh push feels like release i mean push feels like a set point or set point whatever man but listen go over here watch these last two videos and he's gonna he's showing you like number one this is one video where he's really just talking about um like how he changed to release he changed his timing to release and it just came out a lot better look at that like bam he can time his phase better he can time you know let me just let him tell you some of some of what he got going on hold on a second he be using it nba 2k24 and he what? pretty much gave me the sauce so if you Ooh. are a spot up you should definitely be using this shot cue and today i'm going to be testing out this same shot cue to see if it's also soup and that's what he said he's just checking it out to see if it's soup so check that out see if you like release find your shot cue whatever it is but know that release is dope this is the more yeah. important video that he put out yesterday all the shoot around locations because the timing in the city is different go over there both of these video links will be in the description he's showing you the best listen if you're not if you like to shoot in the wreck he tells you where the best place to shoot and practice your shot if you'd like to shoot in the city he's telling you the best five places or five or six locations that you can shoot i promise you i did this it worked for me it definitely worked for me. I felt like it made me a whole lot better because I was able to go over there and test out stuff like on the Dick's Court. And like, like you said, like he tell you how to do all this stuff, man. Um, uh, uh, the Dick's Court, everything like that. He shows you where the locations are, all that good stuff. The one thing he didn't say is how you have to turn off your um your your crossplay if you're on uh, Xbox. I'm gonna show y'all how to do that right now, real quick, man. You want to turn off your crossplay on Xbox? This is what you have to do. You got to go to settings. Then you have to go to account. You got to go to privacy and all that online, right? Then you got to go to Xbox privacy. Then you got to go to uh, where we at? You got to go to uh, view details and customize. Then you got to go to communication and uh, multiplayer and then and hopefully I ain't showing no crazy content. And then you go, you go to uh, here right here and it says uh, join crossplay and you have to turn that to disallow. So we're gonna show y'all that one more time. You gotta go to, you go, you go. Xbox is very convoluted. So one more time, you gotta go to settings. Then you gotta go to uh, account. Then privacy and online, Xbox privacy, and then uh, view and customize communication and multiplayer, and then do that. Then you gotta close out of your game, put that on block or disallow, go out of your game, come back in, and you can get to some of these places because what, one of the things he tells you to do is you wanna turn off crossplay, and if you turn off crossplay, then you gotta, you're, gonna, you're gonna be good. Last but not least, man, listen, don't underestimate this right here, your hot spots. I am telling y'all, listen, I had, I had, uh, for some reason, I had two cold spots in here. You see where it says on this left side right here? So like right here, uh, right in front of my my lethal zone. I was out there playing with Mad and I just couldn't find the shot and I was missing. And I was like, it doesn't even feel like this is my shot. I went and I played, um, I went and checked my, my zones. My lethal zones were still there. I had lost my lethal zone on the right hand side, but my lethal zone, on the left hand side was there but guess what had happened to you see where there's red in front of my lethal zone both of those were like ice cold like like snow white cold like christmas take cold and i was just like i'm wondering how that is because i don't take mid-range shots i've never taken mid-range shots but i did miss so many shots out there shooting with mad and i just felt like it was unnatural and i couldn't even hit i, I wasn't even hidden in the uh in the in the uh house of randoms none of that and i had missed so many shots but my lethal zones never went away. But what did go away is I had both of my both of my hot spots right there were gone. I didn't have any hot spots. Everything actually, I had everything was neutral. Um, so I felt like the game don't know where I'm shooting from, especially since I got a high midi. I got a higher midi than my three ball, and I feel like that that midi my midi was influenced. If you got a low midi, it may not it may not bother it. But I feel like because I have a higher midi than my three ball, I'm in that mesh point right there and the game don't really know where i'm shooting from and i promise you i had my hot spots though those two were cold and i could not buy a bucket so i went out here and i did this method i'm gonna show y'all the method right quick and i and i got all my hot spots shout out to my boy nino because that's who helped me do it i got all my hot spots bro i, I like 
not just the hot spots where you shoot from. You need the hot spots in front of where you like to shoot from as well, because I swear that helped me a lot. And I think that that might be it because a lot of us, we just get the hot spots where, you know, where we shoot from. We don't get the hot spots in front of where we shoot from. And I promise you, I feel like those influence those. And I, like I said, I'm still working on, bro, those two spots were so cold. I had to play two of my career games and come out here and do this joint five times. I'll play five of these to get them joints, uh, to get them right, man. And it's just like, that's how much I was missing. But listen, if you, uh, the, the easiest way to run this right here, uh, if you wanna be able to get your hot spots, this is the easy way to do it. I'm gonna run y'all through it real quick, man. Come out here. I don't care what y'all need to do. Get 5-0 and Chicago B first. If you can get 5-0 and Chicago B, and you're gonna come up here to, I don't even know what park this is. This is Sunset Park. Come to Sunset Park. Get five, unlock 5-0 five in Chicago beef. You want to unlock 5-0 because 5-0 is going to go. You put yourself on the trashest person out here, uh, bro. I put uh, I put myself on the uh, on Gru because he's garbage. His defense is even less. I wanted the, the, the person with the less defense out here. I put 5-0 on whoever the person is, and I get Chicago beef just because he's the sweatiest person out here, bro. Listen, when I'm telling you Chicago beef is sw sweaty, I'm telling you. Chicago beef is so sweaty that his that like his underarm they just sweating. He's just like he just out here. All he want to do is just play basketball and sweat, bro. So listen, five are gonna lock down whoever the person is. Chicago beef gonna get all the boards. That's why I like him. And Chicago beef play better defense than Yeti. Yeti gonna get all the boards too, but Chicago beef play better defense than Yeti in my opinion. So what I do, I just come straight out here and we're gonna try to make this as quick as possible because you can get these guys off the court real quick, shut them down, all that. Now you will have to know your shot and you will have to be comfortable shooting over people. But I feel like doing this method, it will help you uh, learn your cue more or whatever. And Gru's just garbage, bro. He's gonna try to take that shot. Look at that, Chicago beef already just, just no, no, no. They're not letting them score. I run down here, ask for the ball, shoot it, shoot the ball, buckets. Like that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. And whatever spot you're working on, just keep going to this spot and keep working on it. Stay out of those guys' way when they down there because what they're gonna do is they're gonna play great defense for you. Like I said, look, 5-0 locking him up. He's doing this. Also, you get a lot of good VC out of this too, man. And the games can go real quick. So I just let 5-0 lock him up. Gru gonna try to do something. Now I'm, I'm not worried about none of that. Look, look, like, look, look, 5-0 with the snatch block. I'm out. I stop. I don't want to shoot it from there. And, and then, of course, he makes me go, go out of bounds. But it is what it is. If you're on a guard or something, you can just take the shot. I, I want to take the shot from a particular spot. I want to I'm, I want to work on this wing right here. And I'm, I might not have time to show you all the whole game. But like I said, to me, it's just much better playing with these two because these guys can't do nothing on them. And like I said, look, there you go. Block it out of bounds. So you come out here, play this, and do your thing. So like I said, we're going to reiterate. Find your jump shot, delete all the mother joints, get rid of them. Just, just period, point blank. Get rid of all those. I'm just gonna let them score because for the sake of the video, get rid of all your other jump shots. That's number one. Number two, go watch those two videos from my guy T and uh, and go, go watch those two videos from him. Once you watch those two videos from him, those are gonna, that's gonna help you choose whatever your release point is that you might wanna choose. It's gonna show you the power of the release. And also it's going to show you the best spots to test your shot out in the city. Once you do that, you're gonna test your shot out in the city. Boom, you get that right. Come here, do your, do your, do what I call hot spot maintenance. Come out here and shoot over these dudes. These dudes are so small that it doesn't matter. And after a couple of buckets, you're gonna have taken all that good stuff and you're gonna be good. Work on your hot spots. Once you get your hot spots done, like it's just, it's just, it's just easy. It's easy money from there. And like I said, don't just get your hot spots. Get your hot spots that are in front. And like I said, this really helps you work on your timing cue as well. You're gonna learn your cue because you can't shoot. You, you can't, you, it's not gonna let you shoot over these guys if, if you don't know your cue. Sometimes it's gonna say slightly later or whatever, but if you don't know your cue, it's not gonna work. Look at Chicago Beef, get that board for me. All we're gonna do is run it out, stop, pull up, drink. Now we in Mamba, we're not missing anything after that, man. So like, that's this is all you gotta do. That's why I like 5-0 Chicago Beef. Hey, let's just take a moment to look and see can we do a replay real quick? Can we, um, I want to do an instant replay, uh, box score comparison, a uh, scoring summary. I, bro, I wish I could do an instant replay or something like that. Can I do it real quick? Bro, look at how sweaty, uh, look at uh, Chicago, look at how sweaty Chicago beef is. His arms 
are so sweaty. I'm shooting over both of y'all. I do not care. His arm, he's so sweaty that it looks like he forgot to put defense on. I mean, put the uh, deodorant on, bro. He said the only D I like is defense out here, man. So like I said, bro, like look at that, Gru. Get, please stop there. Like I said, it's almost comical uh, what you got to do against these guys. And like my guy Nino said, man, uh, he said, just, just do this. Shoot over these dudes, man, and just do your thing, bro. And one more shot and we're going to shut them down. But like I said, this is probably the best thing that you can do um it's, it's so underrated getting your hot spots and like i talked to my guy earlier i said bro you got your hot spots he's like i do have my hot spots but i said do you have the hot spots in front and i can just talk to y'all because this is this is just this is just crazy uh i'm uh yeah he said i got my hot spots but i don't have the hot spots in front of the hot spots get your hot spots in chicago beef got that uh get your hot spots in front of your hot spots and when you do that you're gonna be tray ball yeah get your hot spots in front of your hot spots Come out here and do that. Concentrate on the actual area that you would like to get your hot spots in. And you can just run this over and over. But like I said, I really say get Chicago beef and get um and get 5-0. Put 5-0 on, on uh disco. And then you just put yourself on the trashest person out there, bro. Cause they they're not gonna play no defense. But listen, and you get 450 VC after every game, bro. So like this is really like this really, you're gonna get VC. You're gonna fix your hot spots. Bro, I don't even think I had no boost on doing that. Did I have boost? I got 15 boost. You don't have to have no boost to do that. But look, get your hot spots and and bam. Like the hot spots and get your lethal zones too. Go, go. Do this to get your hot spots if you don't have lethal zones. Take you two or three games. Get your hot spots. Then come get your then go get your lethal zones and then get your hot spots in front of your hot spots and your lethal zones. I promise you're gonna be shooting better, bro. Like I said, I almost gave up the game this weekend. I was so sick. I was like, bro, I can't do nothing. I can't shoot in the park. I can't do anything. My timing feels off. I don't know what. I promise you, this will help you out. Do all three of these. Make sure you go watch those two videos from T because those are a key component. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time, man. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak.